Hey guys, Greg again. I wanted to uh, to go over a coin that uh, I've been looking at. That uh, this is going to be called. I want to say it's a de degenerate of the week, but uh, I wanted to show some things uh, to you that it might have some uh, potential opportunities that you might want to take a look at um, on this coin. And I'm putting the video on right now because it is uh, it's dipping it's dipping real well. It's coming back quite a bit. So. Um, the coin is Waves. I looked at co the Waves coin a little bit. It, it does have a pretty big market cap. It's like 39 or 40 on CoinGecko, something like that, about $5 billion, But um, and it seems to be some sort of uh, type blockchain or something like that. But this coin from that peak to this peak has already dropped 36%. Okay. Um, now, I don't want to get your guys' hopes up because there are some discrepancies in the chart, but I'm going to go over this chart that I have. And if this chart is, is fairly accurate, this is in a bullish, bullish count, and it's going to play out these sequences, okay? It's going to play out these sequences as long as waves holds this. As long as waves holds... 35 bucks more or less okay if it breaks that it breaks the uh the sequence so we will see there's just a massive sell-off now checking out the rsi that should be a third wave um uh, right here so that's the highest peak so i got that i have it marked as a third wave right there it pumped up and then it's coming down for this uh this fourth on this sell-off and it, it should pump up from, you know, depending on where it goes, high 30s, it should pump up to past, just past that third wave at least, maybe to 70. So just saying, there could be a, there could be a potential uh, 2x in, in the works on that, depending on how, how, how big, if Bitcoin continues to go up and does like another push up, I do expect this for sure, you know, now this isn't financial advice, it's all speculative right now, pretty speculative, but I looked at the coin, the coin is pretty solid. It's not like if you bought some of this coin, you're gonna, you're gonna lose your money forever. This, this, this one is not, this one's not going away. You can look, research it yourself, I did a little bit. This coin has been around for a long time. Now the only issue that I have with this coin based on this chart is I went to, to uh, this chart and you see this peak, this peak is a lot higher, which would change everything on that peak. So that peak is at the May of 21, but on this chart, it's right there. Um, a little bit higher, but still this could be A, you know, B, C, you know, on this peak. Well, how about I have it? A, B, C, a nice, a nice second wave, a nice second wave move, okay? Going up for a first wave, second wave, and then it's in a third wave. Um, so there is a little bit of discrepancy that uh, concerns me a little bit, making this speculative. You know, Coin uh, Coin Gecko has it really high too, um, which would be A B C. So we'll be careful. Now, all the other data that I found, you go through this and one, two. You know, this is probably your three of three. That's the end of the third and then up for a five. So it'd be like this. You know, there's your three of three and the third probably ended there. There's your four, one, two, three, four, and then your five. And then your A, B, your C. Okay, guys, um, off the data and Because this third wave, this RSI has been taken out. So here's its cycle. Okay, that's the third wave. It's coming down, resetting all that. It could push up and go on another cycle like that. So, you know, you could watch it, see how far it dips, you know, keep an eye on it, but it stays above that 35 it's probably going to go on another push up and there's potentially, you know, over the next maybe three or four or five months, 
it could be up near 140, 150, potentially, if this everything is correct. I'll let you guys know that I did uh, nibble a little bit on it. I don't have a lot in it, but I did nibble a little bit on it. So very speculative uh, move, but just don't know the count. It's, it's in a bullish count. This is this is what you you know. It's better to throw your money into something like this rather than a falling knife, or trying to buy dips like a lot of people are doing. Buying dips only to see them go lower. So, anyhow, I just want to let you guys know that man. This is kind of a. I wouldn't say it's a degenerate move. It is a very speculative move because it could uh, it could sell off and break that sequence and bust down here. That could happen. Um, my gut, I put money into it. My gut's telling me I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to push up. So on this next sequence, it's going to push back up probably to maybe 70, 67 to 70. So if it goes down to, let's say, 37, uh, and it goes up to 70, you know, 86%, 86% right there. It's going to depend on BTC. A little bit and ethereum you know if ethereum has another push up just even even like uh two or three hundred that'll work on uh, waves on waves in my opinion but this is a nice this is a nice dip on this coin right now guys you know it, it hit uh looks like right in that area and it's down you know 42 percent right now it's down 42 percent all right guys let's just give me a heads up with that i'm gonna check it out do your own research um you know not financial advice and um be safe with your investments peace